more fashionable now to have a bigger screen size than a smaller screen size. It's very annoying to have to reach into your bag and pull out your, your iPad. I've lost two iPhone 4s in the last while, so I'm back to my old 3GS and a Huawei. I like a smaller device. Because I do feel self-conscious holding an iPad up to take a photograph. they pitched their phone and what was the main important influential factors um, and one of the top reasons um, that came out was screen size. The best size for a phone is one that actually can be used by a human being so the latest iPhone Apple 5 advert shows that they're not getting any bigger because your thumb can't reach any further than that. So we asked um, Apple users if there was anything that they disliked about their phone um, and the top three reasons were the battery life, the maps and then the screen size. You've got to have it, be able to hold it in your hand. I know my girlfriend can't hold an S3, it gets a bit too big. So. And there's now that grey market between what a phone is and what a tablet is. Some people are calling a phablet, which I'm not very comfortable with. I think the phablet's a bit of a, a bit too big, to be honest, personally. I think you should either have a mini tablet or a phone, and you have both. I don't know if you'd be able to have both, because pocket size, for instance, you start sticking out the end of your pocket, it's a bit of a hazard. When you talk to the manufacturers and the networks, they talk about terminals. So if you think about things like Google Glasses, they would remove any need for a large screen at all. You just have a communication device on you in some way that might range from a, from a fob to, a, to whatever it might be. The argument between uh, smartphone and tablet is interesting, but I think it's an irrelevancy once you get into printable electronics because then you can be completely flexible with the shape and the size of the, the unit you put in your pocket. It doesn't break, doesn't foam, you, get, you don't get caught into should it go in this size or shouldn't. It's just a foldable piece of plastic. So if you think about a phone here, and I look at the image on it, most of the light coming off this is, is hitting the wall behind me. Only, the only useful light that comes off the display is the stuff that goes through my iris. So if you could make a display that just projected it straight at the iris of my eye then you would could miniaturise the display. And that's what some companies are doing now. So with the arrival of 4G in the UK, screen size becomes even more important. Um, we know that people want to be watching videos on, on the go, they want to be watching it on the bus on the way to work, on the tube on the way to work. So the bigger the screen size, the better the experience on the mobile phone.